human beings we are born to value every single life in this air so you must ask yourself where does this come from this hatred this violence and this oppression this is not humanity you want to talk about ethical and humane let them free that is the only ethical and humane treatment that there is yep. if you call yourself a human being live in line with the values that you were born with yep. you're laughing but you're laughing because you know that i'm right and i know that i'm challenging you i know i'm challenging each and every one of you I had to be challenged. I know what it's like to live in the dark. I'm not talking bullshit. I've been there. And I'm not saying I'm the best person on planet Earth. The hell I'm not. But at least I'm making an effort. Yeah. I'm making an effort and I'm acknowledging their, their pain. I'm acknowledging everything they go through. You are in there and you put them through that. And you refuse to let people acknowledge their pain. And why? Why? Can you tell me that? Can you give me a reason why? No. We can see the hurt in your eyes. We can see that you don't want to be doing this. We just want this to stop. We want the violence to stop. Think about I appreciate it. you standing here and listening. Now I want you to think. I want you to think about what we're saying. Can I ask your first name, sir? So, I know they don't have to, but it keeps everybody safe. And we have a lot of new people here from all over the world. We have people from Manchester, from and they're new, and emotions run yeah. high when the truck drives. Right. Well, like, they want to be a witness to document the conditions of the animals. We love you, we see you. 
animal during the week. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Animal rights is finally catching on a little bit, and then more and more media is picking up the story, and they're using our language. We're not going protesters. We're activists. We're trying to liberate animals. We're not vegans. We are vegans, and especially a lot of people say they're vegans, but we're trying to actually be animal liberationists. <laughs> the difference in difference. So yeah, we're getting some good media this year. The movement seems to be growing. What else would I be doing with my spare time? Trying Come and join to, us. Trying to work those guys. If I could get you guys all awesome jobs, I'm sure a lot of you guys would come join us. Well, you know, they say that if you uh, hear about something, you forget it. If you read about it, you remember it a little bit. If you see it, it stays with you forever. So, seeing is believing, as the expression goes. And so often our, our food is removed from us. We don't want to see where our food comes from. We're forest food. So to come here and witness the animals, as they're coming up to be killed, and to see them, and to smell them, and to hear them, and to touch them if possible, knowing where they're headed, and how we would feel if it was our hour of death, I think that is a possibly a profound inner shift can, can happen. That's the is power it your, of it. Is it your first? Uh, well, no, I, I, this is a, I haven't done a vigil like this before, no. I've seen, uh, I've seen inside these places before, but I haven't done a vigil. This is a different energy. Because I, I noticed you're out here and there's there's sometimes cars, there's people, there's police, there's security, there's the, the employees, there's the animals, there's our emotions, it's all mixed together. It's, it's quite profound. When did you become vegan? Well, 20 years ago. What made you turn vegan? I saw footage. I saw footage. It was very influential and educational to me and if it worked that way it could work that way for others perhaps so that's why the power of it to me is it's very powerful so that's why I do it